Hey guys, I'm Sakura and I'm one of the co-founders of Blogette. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to rename your photos and badges using Lightroom. So renaming your files is so much more than keeping all of your photos organized. It actually can also help you with your SEO. So everything that you're uploading into your website or your blog um, should have your the name of your blog or your company on that file. So for example, um, every photo that we export from Lightroom and that we upload into our website for blog ads, we make sure that blogettes is always in the file name of that image so whenever people are googling something that's blogettes related all of our photos will get um will get pulled so it also helps for seo but of course keeping all of your photos organized is very important so Neat, renaming your photos is extremely, extremely important. Also, another tip um, why renaming your photos is so important is because of Pinterest. So if someone is on your blog or your website and they are pinning, some, pinning one of your images, you wanna make sure that it's pulling that information automatically um, for it to become a caption. So for example, blogettes, right? Blogettes photo, having blogettes on the file name. Every time someone pins something, that specific name and the file name will pull um, as a caption for that specific pin. So again, it's amazing. It's really easy. It takes no time. So let's dive into Lightroom. All right, so here are, here's Lightroom. And here is um, nine photos that I'm ready to upload onto um, my blog. So I'm gonna export it, right? So I'm gonna hit export on the left hand corner. And then this window will pop up. Now, obviously you can choose where you want to save it. So I'm just gonna save it into a desktop right now. But this is where you're going to rename your files. So go to file naming and then rename to, and there's different ways to do it. So here we are. So there's custom name and then X of Y means, for example, if there's 15 photos total, it'll say like one of 15, two of 15, three of 15. Um, custom name, S and original file number and then custom name sequence. I personally love the custom name sequence because basically it has your custom name and then I'll say like one, two, three, four, five, or however, if you want to start it at 12, you can say 12 and then the next one will say 13, 14, 15, 16. So again, I love the custom name sequence. That's what Blogettes uses. Um, so I'm gonna select that. And of course you can do custom name, date, um, file name sequence, and then file name. So there's different way, ways you can do it, but I like the custom name sequence. So right here, um, I will do for my blog specifically, um, or let's, let's do it for Blogettes. Let's do Blogettes and then type in, um, uh, let's say interview, I'll say Sakura interview, right? And then start number one, okay? So then basically from there, oops, Ooh, there you go. Um, every single photo will say Blogettes Sakura interview, one, two, three, four, five, and I'll just rename it automatically. Um, Again, this is how we organize all of our photos. Um, we have a specific way where we organize our uh, numbers where it's the year, the month, um, and then what shoot. So for example, 2017, so we'll say the start number will be 17, today's March 15th, so 17-03-15. Um, and then basically that's gonna help us organize it by like, the custom name as well as the start number, but it's almost kind of like a SKU number for that photo. So it works out for us, um, but it's really easy. And then basically you just export. If you do want to resize your photos, you can resize it right here. Um, but again, renaming your photos right here, and then you just hit export. And it's gonna export it, let's wait. Okay. So here we are. Now you can see that it opened up in my finder automatically and you can see that all nine photos, I should have put it in a folder, but all nine photos are renamed within seconds. So 
pretty easy, it's fun, it helps you keep everything organized, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks guys!